The Neurologist Needs Sleep By some estimates, upwards of 50% of the general population suffer from some sort of sleep disorder. Greater than one-third of the United States population doesn't get the recommended seven or more hours of sleep, which prompted the CDC to declare sleep deprivation a public health epidemic. Healthy sleep is related to proper neurologic function, with many neurologic disorders resulting in sleep disruptions, and, similarly, lack of sleep contributing to the development and progression of neurologic disorders. The most obvious consequence of inadequate sleep quantity or quality is daytime sleepiness. The Epworth Sleepiness Scale is a quick and easy way to estimate whether your sleep is adequate. Noticing the signs of acute and chronic insufficient sleep is helpful to determining whether a sleep problem is present. However, a simple framework, the validated RU Sated framework, can help elucidate the potential underlying sleep issues in ourselves and others. While there are numerous measures available for teasing out sleep disorders and their associated symptoms, simply assessing for symptoms of the adequacy of sleep and quickly exploring simple sleep health metrics can help determine what sleep issues may be present and direct care, improving the quality of life for patients and healthcare providers alike. RU stands for routine. Asking about the regularity of the 24-hour wake-sleep routines gives an idea of whether there is circadian consistency. S stands for sleep quality. This is a simple query of whether an individual perceives their sleep to be of sufficient quality. A stands for alertness. This is a report of daytime alertness level from an individual's perspective. T stands for timing. Asking about when the sleep period usually happens, particularly comparing work and free days, complements the assessment of routine. E stands for efficiency. This provides a rough estimate of sleep efficiency and or the presence of disturbances that may be resulting in insomnia. D stands for duration. The most obvious of questions relating to sleep attempts to determine whether an individual is getting enough sleep on a nightly basis. This simple sleep health framework covers a range of aspects of sleep, from the experience of sleep to the consequences of adequate or inadequate sleep. The RU Sated framework has been validated on specific quantifiable sleep measures, but can also just provide a quick mnemonic for remembering key areas of sleep that may indicate a problem. Now, thinking back to the Epworth Sleepiness Scale, how would you measure up? Scores above 10 are consistent with excessive daytime sleepiness. While such sleepiness seems like it would be obvious, most people aren't aware of how sleepy they are. In essence, the first step of determining whether sleep is affecting you or your patients is by asking. Regardless of what method you use to screen for a sleep problem, exploring sleep patterns can help elucidate root causes that can lead to simple behavioral modifications or referrals that result in better days. For more information and tools to help assess your sleep, including the Upward Sleepiness Scale, the AAN's Sleep Screening Questionnaire, or the RU Sated Framework, please see the course resources.